On a hot Tuesday evening four years ago, I leant over the ropes of a boxing ring to watch two men sparring. Something wasn't right. Having coached both these guys for years, I knew them well. And while neither was Mike Tyson, normally their rounds were full of classy angles and quick reactions. But on this day, they looked sloppy and out of sync. Their footwork was messy, they failed to defend, and they looked out of breath after just a few minutes of work. My first instinct was to shout out practical advice. I told them to plant their feet, to use their jabs and slow down. But like their damn punches, these tips failed to land because the problem wasn't technical. They were distracted rather than incapable. The issue was that they weren't present. By the way, my name's Hazel Gale. I'm a former athlete turned therapist, author, and now creator of the Betwixt app. And this video is about how to get into flow. Let's stick with boxing as an example. While competing, a boxer can get sidetracked by any number of different things. The cheering or jeering of a crowd, fatigue, physical pain, the prospect of failure, the glory of the win. But it's not those things that actually do the distracting. It's the thoughts we have about these things that cause the problem. Basically, thinking really gets in the way when we need to perform. And if we want to get into flow, which we all do in one place or another, then we need to find ways to avoid the lure of internal distraction and give our minds the kind of framework that helps us to switch into a state of all-consuming focus. That's when we perform at our best, regardless of whether we are making the dinner, pitching a client or writing an epic novel. As someone who's been a fighter and coach and therapist, this is something I've given a lot of thought to. Here's one way to achieve it. First, you need to use your senses to get into the present moment. Put simply, if you are paying attention to what's happening in your immediate environment, then you are not paying attention to internal distractions. Next, control your breathing and go to peripheral vision. So you're not focusing on one specific thing, but rather remaining gently aware of the whole scene around you. This is important because when we're in a state of psychological rest, we automatically breathe a little slower and unfocus our eyes because our minds think that there isn't a threat that we need to focus on. What this means is that by consciously choosing to do these two things in situations that would otherwise be a little anxiety inducing, we can trick our minds into thinking that the threat is minimal. This is all within reason, of course. You can't just go to peripheral vision in front of a hungry crocodile and suddenly feel like you're on the beach in Barbados, which is a good thing. But these things can make you feel a little calmer when you're in front of, say, an audience. Finally, if possible, Tailor the task that you're doing so that it's challenging enough to feel a little difficult, but not too challenging. You can get into flow while doing something easy and routine, for example, but only if you introduce enough challenge for your mind to have to pay attention. And you can get into flow during difficult, complex tasks, but only if you've practiced them enough to be competent. No beginner boxer will ever get into flow during their first round of sparring. Thankfully, the two guys I was coaching on that sweaty Tuesday evening weren't beginners. And what I had them do was this. I told them to stop, plant their feet on the ground, and notice three things they could see, three things they could hear, and three things they could feel in contact with their body. Then I asked them to breathe slowly, go to peripheral vision, and notice all nine things at once. I gave them maybe 10 seconds to settle into that state of relaxed awareness that I wanted them to adopt, and then I instructed them to keep hold of that mindset as they resumed their sparring. And as all of that was going on, the energy in the ring changed. It felt at once calmer and more energized, as if something really awesome was about to happen. When the round began, it was like I was watching two completely different athletes. Suddenly, their movements looked considered and controlled. Their shots started to land flush, or if they didn't, it's because they were blocked skillfully. The boxers now seemed to be connected to both the action and the floor beneath them. And as a result, their performance had become solid powerful and effective. They were back in the game. As always, I really hope this helps. I talk in more detail about this technique and others like it on my profile, so hit follow for more. And if you'd like to take an epic journey through a magical world in pursuit of mental wellness, then you can download Betwixt, the mental health game, a fantasy text-based adventure app that combats stress and anxiety.